The Boys series is a tooth gritty, mind blowing, and an unapologetically gory show that is heir to the amusement of those who love it. Pardon my French. Fuck those fuckers. After three seasons of airing, the show decides to grace our screens with a spin off that, like its predecessor, is all manner of horror and bloody with the usual touch of dark humor. Freshman class is savage this year. Set at Godolkin University, a prestigious institution for aspiring superheroes, the series follows a group of young students as they navigate the challenges of adolescence, their superpowers, and the corrupting influence of Vought American, the corporation that controls the superhero industry. Power rankings in the Gen V series are not merely about physical strength or destructive capabilities. They encompass a complex interplay of factors, such as their marketability and their ratings with the general populace. In this video I'll be analyzing the powers and abilities of the top characters in the show, judging by their raw abilities and their potential in battles. Marie Moreau. The Guardian of Godolkin. Moreau's introduction in the series hinted at how powerful she could be, as we saw what she did to her parents when she first discovered her powers. Marie's power of hemokinesis, the manipulation of blood, is a unique and versatile ability with incredible potential. Even though she is still learning the full extent of her power, we've seen her grow confident in the use of it throughout the series. With rigorous training and practice, Marie's hemokinesis could become even more refined. She could learn to manipulate blood to control the physical state of individuals, potentially putting them to sleep, paralyzing them, or even causing cardiac arrest as she did to that particular soup in the series final. Her powers could extend to changing blood composition, affecting her immunity to make her immune to any disease, and even enhancing her physical attributes. This means that she could potentially age slower and live longer than the average individual. At its core, she can heal injuries, which is a life-saving skill, especially in battle. Marie's ability could evolve into a powerful tool for healing and protection. However, as a compassionate and empathetic individual, the potential for harm is substantial with her powers. She could inadvertently cause severe harm or even fatality to anyone by disrupting blood flow, and since her emotional state and self-control are paramount to prevent accidents, she must always be vigilant to avoid unintentionally blowing up her loved ones, or any parts of them. Andre Anderson. The progeny of the superhero polarity. His powers and their limits were barely tested in the series, mostly because there was no reason to do much with them. Andre, a charismatic and confident student, possesses the ability to manipulate metal. But his magnetic powers extend beyond mere attraction and repulsion, granting him control over metallic objects, shaping them to his will. The hint we get of how powerful Andre could be is from his father, Polarity, who while having a seizure unleashed his power. The scope of Andre's abilities is vast. He can create impenetrable barriers, weapons, and even armor for himself. As he hones his skills, he could theoretically transform entire environments into weapons, manipulate the iron in the blood of adversaries, or construct colossal structures. His metal manipulation can evolve into a formidable force, limited only by his imagination and proficiency. One only needs to remember Magneto from the X-Men when thinking of how powerful he could be. However, while this power has the potential for incredible feats, it also carries its own set of dangers. As we discovered in the series, every use of his power causes a micro-tear in his brain, which would eventually get worse. Therefore Andre must maintain mental stability and practice restraint, but how could he, when his friends are in danger? Remember everything I made you forget. Kate Dunlap. Having someone with Kate's abilities would make you develop trust issues in the long run, as you might come to question the very nature of your reality. With the extraordinary ability to manipulate minds, Kate possesses a potent tool that shouldn't be overlooked. She can influence thoughts, plant suggestions, and even control the actions of others. In the series, we witnessed her trap her friends in a mental prison, forcing them to confront their nature just to prove a point. With practice, she could potentially delve deeper into the human psyche, manipulating memories, altering emotional states, or even creating elaborate illusions. Her powers could be honed to become a subtle and effective tool for both combat and subterfuge. Something as simple as an idea could lead to the end of the world. That's the sort of power that Kate possesses. The danger that comes with having such power is her life as each person she pushes takes a toll on her. She has passed out from pushing too much on several occasions, and a little more could be the end of her life. Emma Meyer, the shy and introverted little cricket, possesses the unique ability to manipulate her size and shrink to minuscule proportions, granting her unparalleled stealth and agility. She got her first taste of being a hero when she met Sam, and when on the rescue mission, we witnessed the creative advantages her power offered, as she can infiltrate small spaces or become an almost invisible presence. 
Her offensive prowess was also displayed when she burst through a guard's eardrums, and when she grew to gigantic proportion to match Sam's strength. With time and practice, she could be able to control her density to resist damage more effectively, or even control what part of her should shrink or enlarge which would be very cool. Her eating disorder was the drawback of her powers, but in the season final she shrunk without puking, which in itself could be another problem if her powers are tied to her mind and emotions. Emma is not the best with emotions, and given that she feels little most times, she is going to be real friends with the rats, I think. Jordan Lee, they should have been called Jordan Lizzie, since they possess the unique ability to transform their gender. A mysterious and introspective figure, this power grants them versatility and adaptability in various situations, allowing them to switch between genders, accessing different physical strengths and energy blasts, and surprise their opponents. If Jordan could potentially learn to manipulate their physiology beyond gender, it could be a game-changer, as they would be in the shape-shifting territory, making adapting to different scenarios more effective. Given that Jordan already has a strong sense of identity and self-acceptance in the series, they are the most stable and dangerous character of them all. Luke and Sam Reardon, the charismatic Golden Boy, and his younger brother Sam. While Sam has got the super strength going for him, Golden Boy has got that, and a natural talent for pyrokinesis. Though we didn't see much of him, but with his pyrokinesis, he possesses one of the most destructive and versatile superpowers. He was even seen as someone who could overtake Homelander, and even though that might seem like a stretch, Golden Boy can hold his own against Homelander. With pyrokinesis mastery, Golden Boy's ability to generate and manipulate flames with precision is a rare and potent skill. His control over fire is not only limited to mere ignition, but he can shape, direct, and intensify the flames to suit his needs. With practice, Golden Boy could learn to create even more sophisticated and devastating forms of fire-based attacks. He might develop unique techniques like fire tornadoes, molten projectiles, or flame constructs, increasing his versatility. If Golden Boy hadn't self-destructed in the first episode, there is no telling how powerful and dangerous he might grow to be. Power Ranking Now, ranking these characters is based on their raw abilities and their potential in battles. 1. Golden Boy 2. Andre 3. Marie 4. Kate 5. Jordan 6. Emma 7. Sam As we wrap up with this video, you can comment your thoughts about who you believe is the most powerful down below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe while you're doing that. Also, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss my next amazing video. Thanks for watching.